For those of you that are new to the channel and don't know me personally, I have been a video editor and motion graphics designer for about 10 or so years now. And over those 10 years, I've used various forms of video editing software, all the way from free, uh, you know, basic amateur software, all the way to professional video editing applications that are used in TV and film production. And a lot of new content creators are asking the question of, well, which one do I go for? Which one do I use? Which one do I start investing my time and potentially money into to really understand and get to grips and make my content look amazing? Every tool is different, and by no means will this video go into every single one of those different video editing applications. Some are tricky, some are easy, some are more challenging than others, but in this video, we're gonna go and dive in and have a look at some of the more popular ones to see which one will work best for you guys. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Sam and in today's video we're going to jump into some video editing software and find out which one will work for you and your content. A quick note before we get started, as I said in the intro to this video, we're not going to be looking at every single video editing solution out there because there's quite a lot of them. We're going to be focusing our attention on the more popular, free and paid for options that are out there for content creators. And if I have missed any in this video, please do leave them in the comments below. I'm sure somebody will find them very helpful. But with that said and done, we're going to be looking at some key factors to rate each one of the more popular video editing applications on. The first one is price, and we're gonna be looking at is if it's free, is it paid for, and if it's gonna be affordable for new content creators and new streamers that wanna get into making their own videos. The second one is gonna be functionality. How long will this piece of software last you before it, you outgrow it and you need to move on and get some new software and learn that? As well as looking at the different features each software has and what kind of functionality you'll be able to get out of it and what features you'll be able to use within your content. And then the last one is gonna be ease of use how difficult is it to understand the program is it easy for newcomers to understand or is it something that you're going to invest in training to have a grasp on and potentially get better at but before we get into it guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the content that I've been putting on here lately ding that bell for notifications and be sure to be notified when I upload any more content in the future also if you're enjoying this video or found it helpful at all please give it a like it really means a lot. And if you want to ask any questions about this particular video or indeed any other video editing tips and tricks that I might show off, I do stream on Twitch every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can ask me some questions there or see me in action editing other videos for different people or working on some motion graphics. I do stream it live, so the link is in the description. Now that's out of the way, guys. Let's jump in and check out our first video editing application, and that is iMovie. It comes free on every single Mac, and you can also get it on your iPhone and on your iPad. Been a while since I went into iMovie and started using any of the features in there, but surprisingly, it's a very well rounded video editor, especially if you're looking to get started and want something to ease you in to making your own content. As features go, it's pretty jam-packed with a couple of things I was not expecting. Things like chroma key, masking, speed ramps and things like that that you will find in a high-end video editor are available to you inside of iMovie, albeit very limited, but at least you have the ability to do these kind of awesome effects that you want to be able to do in your own content. Pretty easy to learn and get familiar with and it's got a really intuitive UI interface that really doesn't take a lot to learn. It just takes a few clicks and a few drags to kind of get an idea of where things are and what things do. You will outgrow it quite quickly though because of the limitations that it has. You can only stack one layer of video on top of your main timeline, which can be quite annoying if you want to do complex effects and do lots of clip stacking. There's also no way to add any third party titles or effects from at least what I have had chance to have a play around and look at it. So that kind of limits you in what you will be able to expand later on down the line if you want to add some really cool third party effects, transitions, or even titles for your videos. For it being free is fantastic, but the limitation there is it's only available on Mac and iOS, and if you don't have either of those platforms, you're kind of stuck, I'll be honest. So three stars for that one, considering that you do need a particular device in order to actually use it and make your own content with it. Functionality, I'm also gonna give this one a three. It's fantastic if you're learning and you wanna get into doing something and actually start making your own content and wanna just get your foot in the door. It's a fantastic option for that. And for ease of use, it's gonna be easily a four stars. Its UI is simple and intuitive and a lot of what you can do is right there in front of you and it's easily accessible. It's a fantastic starter for those that wanna just get down and dirty and edit something really really quickly or for those that want to make something really basic for their YouTube channel just to kind of get their foot in the door and start producing their own content. Okay next one. The next one on the list is HitFilm Express and this one is 
Oh, a bit of a doozy one for me. Anthem Express is a free to download application for Mac and PC. I say free simply because there's a bit of a paywall behind actually using some of the features and advanced functionality within the application. There's a kind of add-on store within their website where you can purchase and download extra functionality for the video editing application like chroma keying, VFX tools, audio tools, etc. for additional fees on top of the free application. This feels like a bit of a cop-out for me, for it being called free. I feel like compared to iMovie, a lot of the features that you would have to spend money on are already featured in the application. It's kind of a, a cheaty way of saying the application is completely free. It does feel like it's locking you out most of the time for making the kind of things you want to do with your own content. So it's a bit of a, it's annoying for me, in all honesty, it's kind of frustrating. So for those out there that want to invest in something or potentially buy something that's going to do everything right out of the box, this might not be the right choice for you. However, I do see the appeal of wanting to buy things as you go along. Not everybody is keen on spending 200 to 300 dollars for an application right Right up front, especially if they don't know what it can do. So I do understand the appeal of actually wanting to uh, upgrade as you go and as your content expands and grows and gets more complex, you can just buy things as you go along. I do see that appeal, but for me as a video editor, it's kind of like, yeah, it's just, it's a bit of a cop out really, in all honesty. Another note to mention is that it looks as though you only have 12 months of support if you were to invest in buying a full version of the software. You can still use the version of the software that you're on at the end of your license, but you can't have any upgrades or any support if your application or video editing software completely crashes and dies and you don't know how to fix it. It shouldn't be as locked in as it is, but it is what it is. Hit films on the list simply because it's an option for other people to invest in and look at. And some people might like the idea of just renewing a license every year or buying things as they grow and as their content grows. In terms of ease of use, there's a lot more complexity involved with this particular application. There's video tracks, audio tracks, keyframes and things like that to wrap your head around. There's a lot more to learn, but it does give you a solid foundation of how every other video editing application out there works. It's a great start if you want to kind of ease your way in to professional video editing but on a kind of prosumer level. And so far I'm gonna give both the price and functionality of this application because they're kind of tied together a three. I'm not a particularly big fan of the way it locks you out of certain functions that compared to other video editing applications out there that, that come with the functionality you have to spend money on, it's a bit of a, yeah, it doesn't sit right with me. It makes it less appealing, to me at least. For ease of use, I'm gonna say a three on this one. Once again, you have to kind of understand the differences between video and audio tracks and what keyframes are, and understanding the new paradigm with video editing. It's the same across all video editing applications, but it's a bit of a learning curve, especially if you're brand new to video editing. But moving on, our next one on our list is DaVinci Resolve. And this one is actually probably going to be the, the number one spot on the list here when it comes to video editing, especially on a PC. Video editing is completely free and it's available to download on a Mac, PC and Linux. It's a jam-packed application full of video editing, VFX, color and audio editing all baked into one single application. This one's probably gonna cover about 90% of the content creators out there, especially for the kind of things that you'll probably do for YouTube or any other social content platform. It's completely free, but you can invest and buy their studio version of the software, but what you get in the free one is completely incredible. Aside from the few Resolve effects and Fairlight effects plugins, as well as multi-user collaboration, you pretty much are set to use whatever you get in the free version, and it's quite extensive. There's a much deeper learning curve to this one, but honestly, I can't see that being a problem, especially if you want to invest a lot of time in understanding how a particular tool works and you want it to last you for many years to come. This thing is a fantastic choice. With that learning curve, it depends how technical you are. For newcomers, it's going to be a little bit confusing, but for more experienced veteran editors from other applications, you'll find your way around just fine. But for new video editors out there, I have provided some links to some training resources in the description of this video. Check them out, you might be able to find something that will help you get a better idea and understanding of how Resolve works. So for price, it's a solid five stars. It's very accessible to everybody, pretty much, on whatever platform you are using. And if you want to invest and upgrade later on down the line as your team expands and you're getting people involved as other video editors and your team starts to grow, it's a fantastic solution and for $299 for the studio version, it's a fair price, especially if you're going to invest in your content and invest in your channel and your brand. I can't see anything wrong with spending $299 
after you've used the free version for a long time. Functionality, it's a five as well. It'll do 90% of what you want straight out of the box in the free version and it will last you years in terms of what you'll be able to do with the software. This is the kind of software that professional TV and film editors use for finishing and grading their products. So I think it's gonna last for a few years with your YouTube content. And ease of use, probably gonna be a three. It's gonna be a bit of a learning curve, especially for new editors, as I've said. But if you're advanced and kind of know how things work, you should fit in just fine. But once again, those tutorials and that training is in the description to this video. Check them out and I'm sure you'll find your way just fine. The next one on the list is Premiere Pro. Probably my least favorite video editing application out there and uh, uh, I just won't go into it. Premiere Pro is probably gonna be the more popular one on this list and it's available for Mac and PC. It's a part of the Adobe Creative Cloud suite of applications and it is a subscription pricing method with uh, very hefty prices, I might add. You could be paying anywhere between $50 to $100 per month, depending on what particular software package you go for. I honestly, just take a look at the website and you'll see what I mean. And this is something that I would not recommend to new editors, especially those coming from iMovie or HitFilm Express. Investing that amount of money into a particular software package when your content isn't really growing that much right now is a pr pretty big setback, in my opinion. I wouldn't recommend it, especially for new people. But if you've been around a lot and you made a bit of content and your channel's growing and you're making money with the content you're doing, it might be more of a viable solution for those that actually want to invest in a more inclusive video editing experience when you've got other applications like Adobe After Effects and Photoshop and things like that. It's got deep functionality. However, I've got a personal gripe with how Adobe is kind of managing their software development and their upgrades. I just don't feel like they're innovating enough. And other applications are doing some really awesome things that kind of set them apart from the Adobe Creative Cloud entity that it is. That I just think it's worth going with those guys because they feel like they have a lot more of a grasp on what they're doing. And ease of use is very similar to DaVinci Resolve. There's a bit of a learning curve, but with proper training and proper resources, you can probably find your way after a while. So on that note, it's probably gonna be the shortest one in this list, and I'm gonna give it a two stars for the price. I'm not a big fan of subscriptions for anything in terms of software. Three, for functionality, it's there, it's deep, and it's rich, but again, I just don't think there's no innovation coming out of Adobe to really make me want to go I'm gonna start using that piece of software. I wanna I wanna be an Adobe user. And then ease of use, once again a three, it's very similar to Resolve, just wrapping your head around it, get some tutorials, get some training, and you should be pretty much sorted in terms of where things are. You get familiar with it. You, you'll 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 find your way around. Man, that wasn't biased at all, was it? Dang. I really don't like Adobe. That's just, that's the truth, and I'm sorry about that. Okay, moving on to our next one, and probably my favorite one on this list. Come on, I'm biased in one way, I'm gonna be biased in another way. The next one on our list is Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is a Mac-only application that you can get on the Mac App Store for $299, and I've gotta say, it is by far my most favorite video editing application that I have ever used. If you're moving from my movie, you wanna to move to the next best thing, Final Cut Pro 10 is the best option for you. It's just super transitionable because they're both made by Apple. The idea is you would start in iMovie, get a firm idea of what you're doing there, and then progress to Final Cut Pro for more advanced and complex functionality. Its functionality is by far probably the best I've seen in any video editor. It's designed to be fluid and modular to suit the needs of the user when you need it. The whole application is expandable with third-party apps to expand the professional functionality with things like EDLs and XML support for other video editing applications to transfer timelines. Honestly, it is the most rich and deeply integrated third-party resource pool of applications and developers that I have seen for any video editor Ever. Not to mention the other third party titles, effects and transitions that you can get online to help expand the kind of content you're doing. For price, I'm gonna have to give this one a four. There's no subscription and it's an all in one price. I paid for Final Cut Pro initially when it first came out and I've not paid for a single upgrade since. It's been the most investable is that a word, investable? Program or application that I have ever put my money in because I've seen a huge amount of return on it and I haven't spent any more than I need to on it. It's, I, I changed that, I have bought a lot of third party plugins and titles, but that's beside the point. Functionality is getting a four as well, simply because I think it's probably gonna suit 90 to maybe even 100% of the users that will use it. You have to get your head around in some respects, especially if you're an older user coming over to Final Cut Pro 10 and you've used other video editing applications, they Things work a little differently in Final Cut compared to those, but if you're a new user coming from iMovie, it's the best, it's perfect. 
you'll love it. And then four, ease of use. It's a fantastically easy to adapt program. You'll find plenty of resources online. And I just think it's probably the easiest one to pick up as a new content creator compared to every other one on this list. And finally, guys, I'm gonna give you my last and final recommendations for a video editing application you guys should choose. After kind of spending time working on this video, I've had a bit of a look and I thought, you know what, that's probably the best option for those that wanna get into video editing these are those options. If you're on a Mac and you want something free, it's gotta be iMovie. You can't go wrong with the application that comes free with every Mac and you get it on your iPhone and on your iPad. It's just, it's unbeatable in that regard. If you wanna invest in some professional video editing and you're still on the Mac, Final Cut Pro. I love the application so much and it's it's the one I use to edit all my videos and I'm hugely biased by all, you know, by every stretch of the imagination, but I think it's probably the best tool if you're coming from iMovie as a new editor or indeed as a new content creator that's not started on iMovie and you wanna get into professional video editing and you have a Mac, it's a no-brainer. Pick Final Cut Pro. And if you're on a PC, the obvious choice is, to me is going to be DaVinci Resolve. You have a free and paid version of DaVinci Resolve and there's not much difference between them except multi-user collaboration and some Resolve effects, audio effects, as well as some extra things like blur and, and, and other stuff. Look, the list is on their website and I've linked that in the description below. And this application is probably going to be the best solution for 90% of the people watching. And that is everything in this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget you can like the video. It shows me that you enjoy the content that I'm pushing out. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding that bell for notifications for when I upload more content in the future. And don't forget you can also follow me on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Links are in the description. And on there you can ask me any questions about video editing tips and tricks and things like that and see me in action doing any video editing or motion graphics design and some and, and ask me some questions there as well you're like i'm all about that and guys while you're at it you might as well join the discord and be a part of the larger community over there i've got some free resources for graphics designs and templates you guys can use and you can also talk to everybody on there about video games and chat with us about creative or technical or even ask for video editing guides and advice and things like that that's the kind of stuff we like to do links are in the description below once again guys thank you so much for watching and then i'll catch you all in the next video take it easy guys bye bye because it's a bag of turds. What you know what? You know what else is a bag of turds? What? Me? Is is the answer? <laughs> you said me as I scoped in. <laughs> <laughs>